Hello friends, welcome back to Excel Fundamental Tutorial from TechOzo. We already have an idea how powerful features available in pivot table in Excel. With very little effort and no formulas, you can use a pivot table to build a good looking report for any large data set. Also you can look at the same data from different perspectives. In the first part of pivot we have learned about the insert pivot table, add fields, sort by value, apply number formatting and in part 2 we will learn more things such as pivot table chart, refresh data, second value field, percent of total, group by date and two way pivot. Just drag and drop without applying any formulas. So let's apply all these step by step. At first, I'm gonna do a visual present by adding pivot chart. You can do it from insert menu, also from pivot table analyze menu. Click on pivot chart and I'm gonna take a bar chart and click OK. Let's make more beautiful by clean this up default setup. At first, remove these vertical lines. Also remove all the horizontal axes by select and hit the delete button in keyboard. And remove legends. Now, hide all fields buttons on chart by right click on axis and hide all fields button on chart I want to reduce the gap between bars and make the bar more visible so right click on the bar and format data series in this data series option reduce the gap width by 50% yeah, now it looks perfect. Let's add some 3D effects from effects in the bar to look more presentable. And from field and line you can apply different color as well. Let's add levels from this plus icon. Data levels having few more options such as inside base, outside base, center and you can choose as per your requirement. And of course, need to write about the title of the chart and for me, it's the sales summary January 2019 of TechOzo. Change fields. To remove fields, simply drag and drop into worksheet and notice a cross icon notifying you that these fields are removing. Now drag the required field and drop into rows. Notice the overall pivot data has been changed and it has reflected into pivot chart as well. Second value field. You can add more than one field in pivot. Drag unit to the value area and see the sales revenue and the units together. Refresh pivot. Pivot table needs to be refreshed in order to bring in updates. To reinforce how it works, we will make a big change to the source data and watch it flow into the pivot table. For example, John sales will reduce by 20,000 in the source data 
and see the result in pivot. Right click any cell in the pivot and click on refresh. Notice the bar chart also changing with the updated data. Percent of total. There are different ways to display value. One option is to show value as a percent of total. If you want to display the same field in different way, add the field twice. Remove the unit from the value area and add the sales revenue field again to the value area. Right click the second instance and choose grand total. That's all. Job done. Group by date. Pivot table has a special feature to group by date into units like years, month, and quarter. This grouping can be customized as well. Remove the second sales revenue field. Drag the date field into the column area. Right click a date in the header area. And choose group. Once the group window appear, group by years only and deselect month and quarter. There is no sales of silver in 2016 and 2017 and we can guess that was also introduced in 2018 only. So pivot table often reveal the pattern in the data that are difficult to see otherwise. Now we have a pivot table that groups cells by color and year. Pivot table can plot data in various two dimensional arrangement as well. Drag the date field out of the column area. Drag reason into the column area. Excel builds a two way pivot table that breaks down cells by color and reason. Sweep region and color, that is, drag region to the rows area and color in the column area. Excel builds another two dimensional pivot table. Again, notice the total sales, that is 131260, is the same in all pivot table above. Each table presents a different view of the same data. So they all sum. To the same total. Really it's exciting and I love pivot table because it's very simple to set up and customize. There is no need to learn any complicated formulas. You can create a good looking useful report with pivot table within a minute even if you are very good with the formulas. So this is all for this video on pivot table and coming up next video something more exciting on excel. Thank you for tuning in and wish you all the very best to become an Excel expert. If you found this video helped you to learn something, you may like, share and subscribe to stay tuned. Have a nice day and see you soon in the next video.